Welcome back. This will be segment 23, and as you can tell, I've made some progress on the black pearl. The masks are in place, but they're not really glued in place, so if they look crooked, it's just because they're leaning. I'll get them settled in place. A shout out of thanks to R.E. Gordy, who provided me the, the height for the masks and also the yard arms. So I'll uh, show you an update on that, and I will get you all those measurements at the end of this segment. What I'm working on now are the yard arms for the main mast. And the trick to this is you want them tapered. What I've been doing, because I don't have a lot of equipment, is uh, sanding these or filing these down by hand. So this will be the highest one on the main mast. It's the shortest and it's about 22 centimeters, just a little over eight and a half inches. So I think I went with eight and a half. So I went with nine and a half, and then what I've been doing is putting this that I'm going to end up cutting off in my drill. And then I use a, a variety of, of different tools to shape that down a little bit. This has got a, a, um, like a Dremel file, and I just want to get it started. So I, I, like I said, I've tried different different types of tools. I also take coarse sandpaper. So you can see how I've got that started. I'll do the same on the other side. And then you want them to be pretty close to the same. So I just have this uh, probably for artwork or drafting. These are all different size circles. So what I did, as you can see on these two, I just found the size that would go about up to there. And then I would hold that stationary, turn it around. Put it in the same hole, make sure it was about the same. I could also do it with a smaller level. So that gave me, on both ends, a similar taper. So let me keep working on this. Um, one other thing, once you get down to the point where you, you're going to cut this off, then to be able to put it in the drill without damaging it, I put a little plastic tube over that part and then that's what goes in the drill bit. So that's helped quite a bit too. Okay, I now have this roughed out. There's my center mark. I double checked to make sure I'm going to end up with eight and a half inches. It's just a little shot short of where I made that edge. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. Give myself just a little extra space. I'll continue sanding this either by putting this plastic tip on and putting it in the drill or I'll sand it sometimes by hand um, and then on the ends I prefer it to be rounded not have a, a straight edge on it so to get rid of that I do it by hand and sometimes I'll make a little cup with some sandpaper and just lightly spin it just lightly scuff around and I'm, I'm twisting this as I'm doing that. So let me get the three sets completely made, show you how they're going to work out, and then don't forget at the end of the video I will get you the measurements that were provided me uh, by a viewer, and we'll continue on. But I'm very happy. It's been a lot of work, but it is starting to look Pretty good for my first ever build and not a professional ship builder by any means. I have finished uh, the yard arms and this section being for the main mast. And I looked at a book that I have and it shows some of the, uh, these are going to be 
actually for climbing if you're going to walk out along it, I guess. It's a Kindle book, and what is nice about it is that when I get to the page, if I expand this, now I can enlarge this, and I can look at different parts. I can see how that is uh, made. So what I'm in the process of doing is taking each one of these and trying to create this bottom rope with these extensions that go down. So see when I zoom in, I can see even better what I'm looking at. And I've gone ahead and ordered some additional parts. Oops, sorry. Some of these little um, look like pulleys possibly, so I'm going to go ahead and do some of that detail. If you're interested in this book, it is titled Ringing Period Ship Models. And what it does, it gives a complete list of different titles. Main and Main Topsail Braces. So if I tap that, it takes you to that page and then this is where if I I want to get back there now if I spread this now I can look at it in a little more detail and again they're drawings but it does help to see some of this kind of detail so anyway I'm pretty happy with the book I'm gonna see if that helps me out doing the rigging and things just so I'm clear on this book, there's nothing written. It's all just visual. So you tap on one. Here I go by page. They're all just drawings. And so when you go to the next page, again, it just gives you a hand sketch of all these different topics. So I like the visual aspect of it. I've completed staining the all the yard arms. This is for the main mast, and you can see how I've secured these. I left a little extra here because there's going to be a uh, pulley attached there. To help in making this, I put a couple of nails in my workbench right at where the inside ones go and a mark where it was the center. And then I kind of used that to pull down on the, uh, the main rope so that I could judge the distance. And I can't do it now because that's, they're tied, so it, it kind of skews it off a little bit. But it did help greatly on that. And I think when put in place, that's going to look pretty nice. Obviously, you can see I've done the outside strings, so I haven't finished yet. But these are the for the main mast. This is for the four mast, these three, and then the top two are the mizzen mast, and there's just two there. So I'm kind of excited. It's I'm making good progress. And um, as always, thanks for watching. Okay, as promised, here are the measurements of the masts.